Mad. D. Sun. By anybody's measure Max is not intelligent. He is incapable of making informed decisions or conclusions. There hasn't a subject in which he is versed. Just nonsense and blank space in his mind. At a young age he is put in classes with the other slow learners. Him and the others work at a slower pace and cover less subject matter than the rest of the students. He knew of his enrollment in the special classes, it's not like anyone tried to hide it. It didn't matter to him anyway. Throughout his life, a mentally deficient person is aware of their unintelligence to some degree. He is no different. Except that he had gotten dumber as time progressed. He can't take care of himself or others, not even his dog. His only real acclaim is his ability to eat ice cream like a hungry farm animal. How on earth the instinct to reproduce transcends unintelligence is beyond anyone's explanation, really. This your dog, sir. This dog. Yes, this dog right here. Yeah, this dog is mine. Well, you can't have dogs inside the building, sir. Oh, why? It's against company policy, I'm afraid. Max stared dead-eyed at the guard. Sorry, maybe I didn't get at drawing dead eyes. But anyway the another drop of melted ice cream hit the ground. By now the dog noticed and began to lick the floor thoroughly. Sir, I need to ask you to step outside with your dog. You can enjoy your ice cream outside at a table. It's hot outside though I ain't going just let me finish my cone and be on my way. Look it's already melting indoors it ain't even that hot in here. I understand, but I have been over this before with you, sir. Other times in the past. You need to either leave your dog outside the mall or you need to start thinking about leaving your dog at home when you come here for ice cream. 
I ain't been told that not ever. I can't come here without him. He'll pee on the carpet if I leave him at home. Then I'll really be in trouble with mom. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time, nicely, and then I will be notifying the police. By now, a young mom and her daughter were watching from a nearby table on the second floor. Who the hell is he? I don't know, maybe someone escaped from the mental hospital. Is he the black pal from Kick Knock? Mom, he is yellow, yell. The dog seems know it was the subject by which this entire altercation started. Nor do it care. Max could be stupider than his dog. Look. I'm halfway done here already with this cone. Just let me me finish. The guard's face turned red and pick up his phone. He is watching him as he dialing to the police. He now chomping on the edge of the cone. Eyes closed, oblivious of the guard's actions. The dog is still continuing in action like a Chinese worker. The conversation was brief. He could not believe the utter ignorance of the boy. He stared at the boy in contemplation. Is this boy's mission to anger me? To sabotage our mall, to ruin my day, to cause a scene. I have contacted the police, they are on the way. Jay Seuss. Relax. I'm done anyway. Max ate the remainder of the soggy cone, signaling that it was time to leave. He walked out with his dog but before reaching for the door, he wadded up his wet sticky napkin and threw it into the trash. Some people. His dog try to understand what he says and walk down the sidewalk towards home together. <laughs>